This was me and my family before we won the lottery. And this is me and my family after we won the lottery. And this is all the neat stuff my parents bought me with our new lottery money. Stuff like these remote control shoes that lace up all by themselves. This coat is made of a special space age material. It's waterproof, fireproof, and freeze proof. And if I'm ever out riding my bike at night, oh. and if I'm ever lost at sea, Ooh. thank you, Angela. But, Miss Gatto, I haven't shown everyone my designer rock collection yet. Maybe another day, dear. Now, next presentation, Mona. Mona, it's time for your presentation. And please, remove those rubber spiders from your ears. My presentation has to do with a dark, almost impossible to believe mystery right here in our town. The horrifying creature that is... The Living Scarecrow. Every night it leaves the graveyard in search of its favorite snack. Human brains! Its victims become zombies, the living undead. Just like Mr. Arley, the church gardener. All alone in the church garden one night, he didn't have a chance. With the power inside his hat, the living scarecrow neutralized him and ate his brain, turning him into a zombie. Poor Mr. Arley disappeared, never to be seen again. All right, Mona, that's enough. As we all know, poor Mr. Arley did not disappear. He moved back to Connecticut with his sister. That's just what the living scarecrow wants us to think. There's only one way to defeat the living scarecrow. The source of its power is in its hat. But no living scarecrow is a match for Mona the Vampire. Mona? <sighs> Next presenter, <clears throat> Charlie Bones. My presentation is a tribute to one of my favorite elements in the periodic table. Welcome to the wonderful world of carbon. There is no living scarecrow and you're no vampire. If to and so. If not, are not. No one believes you. I believe her. I'll stand up for you, Mona. Uh. <gasps> hey, Neve, you scuffed my ball. Sorry, George. If you're a real vampire and only a real vampire can stop the living scarecrow, then I dare you to stop him tonight and bring his hat to school tomorrow. Ah, I'll do it. You'll get that hat. How would you like to help me play a practical joke? Dad, where are my glow-in-the-dark fangs? Right where you left them, on the kitchen sink. I'm going to meet Charlie and Lily. We're going to stop the living scarecrow from eating everybody's brains. All right, sweetheart, but make sure you're home before Mom gets back from karate class. I'll explain it one more time. When the living scarecrow eats someone's brain, that person becomes a zombie. Without a brain, zombies have a poor sense of direction. They get lost, and so they disappear, just like Mr. Arley. There he is, the living scarecrow. For a living scarecrow, he's not too lively. Good, he's still sleeping. We have to move fast. Okay, but what should we do? Watch me. Uh, uh, I'm gonna need a boost. Bunch of chickens. <laughs> Mona the vampire. Ha! Wait till everyone at school hears about this. They'll be. The living scarecrow! Ah! Uh, just wondering whether you know of any part time jobs in town. Hello? And zombies look like this. Oh! This is gonna be harder than I thought. The living scarecrow could be my greatest foe yet. Reverend Gregory wants everyone in the stamp club to know that he's holding a meeting tonight at the church. The church is right next to the graveyard. What if we run into the living scarecrow? 
Mona, you know the rules. No vampires in the classroom. But Miss Gatto, how else am I supposed to save the town from the living scarecrow? Mona, I've had enough of... I'm not done with you yet. <gasps> uh, good morning, Principal Shabley. Now, if I started allowing vampires in the classroom, what would be next? Werewolves? Ghoulie ghouls? I could get rid of them for you. Mona, don't you have something to say to Principal Shabley? I'm sorry I mistook you for the living scarecrow and whacked you with the door. It won't happen again. Yes. Well, see that it doesn't. <laughs> Mom, where's the salt? On the counter by the sink. Do we have any garlic? In the fridge with the Spanish onions. Why? Let's see. Garlic for the living scarecrow and salt for the zombies. I'm going to bring the Spanish onion just in case. There's no telling what we'll run into out there. This town is swimming with zombies. Eat salt, zombies! like this in the whole country. Watch. Aren't they fabulous? Very nice, Angela. Now, getting back to the real reason we're here tonight, stamps. Watch them undo themselves now. The living scarecrow's outside! <gasps> I don't want to be a zombie. <laughs> George is a zombie! Run! <laughs> You go left. Princess Giant, you go right. I'll go up the middle. Angela, George, you stay here. Phew. You'll be the bait. We don't want to be the bait. In there. I can't mingle with garbage. I'm rich. The living scarecrow. Ah! I'm going to start the stamp club meeting without you. I've got a new holographic triangle stamp from Paraguay. Prepare to spring the trap, fellow monster crushers. I'll go flush him out. Uh-oh, smells like trouble. <laughs> And this! <laughs> I guess this stuff only works on zombies. Then how about some garlic? Rhythm, <laughs> <laughs> creep, energy field, hard to He lost his hat. He's powerless without it. Go get his hat while I distract him. Hey, you big bag of hay. What's the matter? Did I knock the stuffing out of you? Take the Spanish onion. He's headed towards the net. Come on, Fang, let's hurry. What the? All right, they caught him. <laughs> Good work, team! Oh. Ah. Reverend Gregory! And the living scarecrow! This is Alistair, the new gardener, young man. I just hired him. How do? Oh. oh! Fear not, team. The living scarecrow may have eluded our trap, but without this, he won't bother anyone anymore. All right! Wow, the hat! Great. No, Mona. I think that's Alistair's hat. Actually, my hat's right over here. Yes. 
What say we conclude this meeting of the Stamp Club with some milk and cookies? Cookies! Oh, yeah. All right! All right. Cookies. The living scarecrow may be neutralized, but there's still plenty of ghosts and creepy crawlies and ghouly ghouls waiting for Mona the Vampire! But they can wait till after snack time. Come on, Fang! Is it safe to come out yet? Shh! It'll hear us! Ah! 